GBV Risk Mitigation, What You Need to Know. When you respond to a humanitarian emergency, you need to know how to take action and carry out your responsibility to reduce GBV risks that may occur in your area of work. GBV specialized programming and GBV risk mitigation interventions across sectors are life-saving. This video is a starting point to answer three questions. Why do operations need to integrate GBV risk mitigation interventions across all technical sectors and areas of work? Who is responsible for putting in place GBV risk mitigation measures? And what do operations need to do, including at the onset of an emergency? Gender-based violence, or GBV, is a severe violation of human rights and a major public health concern affecting all societies. In line with UNHCR's core protection mandate, operations must systematically address root causes of GBV reduce exposure to GBV risks faced by persons of concern to UNHCR, and ensure that all GBV survivors have access to appropriate and quality specialized services. Why do operations need to integrate GBV risk mitigation interventions across all sectors and areas of work? It is part of ensuring that protection is at the center of everything we do. It is also an interagency commitment to integrate GBV risk mitigation interventions in all programs and procedures, as well as strategies and policies of all humanitarian actors. This includes all sectors and clusters. Mainstreaming GBV risk mitigation refers to one, integration of GBV risk mitigation interventions across all technical sector programming and other areas of work, and two, ensuring all members of the workforce know how to safely handle disclosure of a GBV incident and referrals to available GBV services. From the onset of an emergency, prioritize the implementation of GBV risk mitigation measures in all aspects of your work. Know the GBV referral pathways and how to safely handle a disclosure in line with the GBV guiding principles. The steps apply in all situations and settings. In October 2020, UNHCR launched its policy on the prevention of risk mitigation and response to gender-based violence. Implementation of the new policy and its core actions, including Core Action 2 on GBV risk mitigation, is part of mandatory compliance for all sectors and clusters in the field. So who is responsible for addressing GBV risk mitigation? Trained and qualified GBV and protection personnel work on specialized programming, prevention and response. All staff have a responsibility to work on mitigating the risk of GBV in their area of work. Know your role, such as in program, shelter, NFIs, WASH, education, livelihoods, cash, or public health, and proactively reduce exposure to GBV risks within your area of responsibility. Refer to core guidance documents to inform your work and coordinate with GBV and protection colleagues to jointly address GBV. Support the dissemination of coordinated messaging on GBV, including disseminating information on available services through sectoral channels engaging community members. What do operations need to do, including at the onset of an emergency? See the essential actions listed by sector in the GBV guidelines. Here are a few examples. Train all new and sector staff on GBV risk mitigation and safe disclosure. Incorporate regular check-ins with the GBV coordinator or GBV focal point to remain informed on the latest GBV referral pathways and important trends. Ensure all new hires and volunteers are oriented and sign a code of conduct. Needs assessments are an important part of an initial response and for monitoring later. Support the participation of diverse women and girls in sectoral assessment or GBV safety audit processes to understand their concerns and safety risks and involve them in developing appropriate risk mitigation measures. Apply a rights-based, community-based, and age, gender, and diversity AGD, approach to strengthen accountability. Collaborate with GBV and protection coordination structures and colleagues on how to do this safely and to avoid causing unintended harm. Ensure that assessment teams are trained on GBV and how to safely handle a disclosure and make a referral. Use safety checklists to ensure basic GBV risk mitigation measures are in place in facilities set up for the emergency response, such as reception centers, transit centers, or communal shelters. Work with communities, especially displaced women and girls, to engage and lead feedback sessions. Ensure the safety checklists are consulted and endorsed. Ensure that you include gender analysis, GBV risk analysis, and measures to address the risks highlighted by women and girls and other at-risk groups in sector strategies, resource mobilization plans, and advocacy documents. 
Do not proactively identify or seek out GBV survivors or undertake activities that are the responsibility of specialized staff. If a survivor of GBV discloses to you, respond using the survivor-centered approach. Key messages. At the onset of an emergency, prioritize the integration of GBV risk mitigation interventions. They are life-saving. Apply the do-no-harm principle in all your actions. Implement the recommendations of diverse women and girls to mitigate the GBV risks they face. Ensure all sector and cluster staff, volunteers, etc. are trained on GBV risk mitigation, how to safely handle disclosures of GBV incidents, and make referrals to appropriate GBV services. Do not proactively identify or seek out GBV survivors and do not undertake activities for GBV specialized staff. Apply a survivor-centered approach. Here are some resource links for you and your colleagues. Let's get implementing.